Russian officials claim that Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles targeted two buildings in Moscow during the early hours of Monday morning. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobin then reported on Telegram Monday that the strikes resulted in minimal harm or loss of life. The Ministry of Defense in Russia stated on Telegram that on July 24, the Kyiv government's plan to carry out a terrorist attack in Moscow using two unmanned aerial vehicles was prevented. They referred to the incident as a failed attack. The ministry stated that the two Ukrainian drones, which are unmanned aerial vehicles, were disabled by electronic warfare methods and subsequently crashed. As reported by the Russian state media channel TAS, a drone collided with a tall commercial building situated on Likachela Avenue in Moscow and drone wreckage was discovered on Komsomolsky Avenue in Moscow. TAS mentioned that according to the initial information, no people were injured. According to a report from TAS, the Department of Transportation and Road Infrastructure Development of Moscow has stated that the traffic on Komsomolsky Avenue, originating from the city center heading towards the region, has been completely halted. Following the destruction caused by Russian missiles to a significant Orthodox cathedral in the southern Ukrainian port city of Odessa, the occurrence of another attack has been reported. This has led to widespread anger and prompted Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to promise a response in retaliation. According to Ukrainian officials, the recent acts of violence in Odessa resulted in the death of one individual and caused injuries to multiple people. These attacks are part of a series of incidents that have targeted the port city, resulting in the destruction of various significant structures, as stated by Ukraine's culture ministry. During the ongoing war initiated by Moscow's invasion in February last year, Ukraine rarely admits its involvement in attacks that occur on Russian territory. This war has witnessed Russia unleashing its military power on its democratic neighboring country. If you found this informative, you learned anything or just stayed until this part, then you should subscribe, like, and follow us and share this video. See you next time.